sweltering heat can send you to the hospital. What we're seeing is people can complain of being uh, weak and tired, uh, lightheaded. Dr. Ben Balatbot says effects of heat exposure could possibly set as quickly as 30 minutes. Heat-related illnesses follow a continuum. You could experience a mild illness with heat cramps. Heat exhaustion is next. People tend to get weak, faint, and headaches while excessively sweating. When you stop sweating, that's a sign that people should be aware of. You might be experiencing a heat stroke, the most severe heat-related illness requiring immediate medical treatment. Signs also include confusion, nausea, or vomiting. Prevention should include hydration while monitoring your body. It's important to seek shelter, but not everyone can. It's all hands on deck for SAC Metro Fire. So we'll call for additional resources just to backfill the folks that are on the line to give them a break so that, uh, that they don't get overheated and potentially have a medical emergency themselves. The department says it will also have a rehab unit on standby to keep crews hydrated. When you start to feel thirsty in this type of heat, you might be already behind on hydration. Water is important, but it's not enough. Experts say when you sweat, you lose water. So be sure to stock up on drinks that have plenty of electrolytes, which help you hydrate quicker and retain those fluids.